Okay, Steve, this one's for you. Get you a private link. Here it is. Remember I was telling you about the fishing kayak. I don't have the seat in there or anything, but <clears throat> this is the striker that I brought back from the cabin. So Garmin Striker 4. I've got it just Velcro attached with some heavy duty Velcro right there because I didn't want to drill any holes. And I was lucky enough, my kayak came with this little like screw top thing right there, okay, right? I was like not sure what it was for. And there's no hole, there was no hole in it, I drilled that. It was solid. It's not a drain plug, because I have one of those. But I did put the transducer right here. So right there in this scupper hole, so underneath, if you can see it's right there and it's completely flush with the kayak so no chance of damaging it but it's right up there which also means if i'm sitting in my chair if i get a beep on a fish that's still in, a little bit in front of me it's at least it's not directly below me not a big deal but so what i did do is i got this unscrewed total pain in the freaking ass got these two cords one of them is the transducer cord i just wanted to get that in there primarily because there's about 15 feet of the shit. There's like 15 feet of it. So I tucked it all. I drilled this hole. You can't really see it, but it's a very small hole. I drilled the hole small as I could get it, put this through. So there's about 15 feet of that underneath this. Popped it out here and brought it up to right there, back of the garment. So now I've got power. Got transducer and I have power. The power goes in here and then conveniently, there was another one right here. So I was able to fish it underneath through the body to here. I ran it through this channel. It was right there. So it came up here. I think it might be for this exact thing. Brought it over here, pushed, drilled a hole in this. And I'll tell you about this in a second. Drill the hole in this comes up here. Here's the power. Uh, I'll put the battery back here. I mean, I'll have somewhere for it to go. I was going to hopefully demonstrate what it looks like when I turn it on and see if I can, if that holds. So I come back over here. Oh, wait, no. Something happened. Huh, that's weird. I think it's because I don't have... It's not the battery's fault. Operator error, see? No, let's go on. Jesus Christ, I just needed it for a second. There we go. So, <clears throat> obviously, that's gonna be clamped down in a waterproof box in my crate, which is right there, homemade crate. That's a different video. And uh, yeah, so this is the these are the mods. Oh, this is a seat raise, and so I clamp my seat on. I get an extra couple inches, which really sets you up. Sort of everybody who buys this kayak who's done a serious review does it. But then I was able to drill the hole for my power cable, which comes up here to my battery. So voila, got my viewfinder. If I go traditional. It'll show that, hey, look at that. That's kind of weird looking, isn't it? Well, if we zoom in to 10, 25, 10 feet, five feet, oh, look at that. It's about two feet, two and a half feet to the bottom of the lake or two and a half feet to the floor. All right, that's my um, striker depth finder install. I think it worked pretty sweet. Everything's going to be completely out of the way. Oh, also heavy duty Velcro, this, this stuff right here. I just put that in there. So it holds it into that channel. I thought that was pretty slick. This was just extra that I had from the other part, which was that guy down there. So I didn't have to drill any holes to install it. All right. I hope you enjoyed it.